Hello, first graders. Welcome to a new lesson in our subjects math. Please bring your Be a Scientist notebook and let's start. We will be starting on page 137, Animal Parts, page 137. All right. Performance task. So, animal parts. You will show how an animal uses its body parts to get what it needs. Make a prediction. Which body parts help an animal get what it needs? So let's think of an animal that, um, which part of, of their body that it helps them to get what they need. For example, we can say the animal uses its arms and legs to move around, or uses their nose to smell, or uses their teeth to chew the food, or um, use use their ears to sense or hear noises or um, hear what's going on. Also, you can say also the, the fur, if they have thick fur like birds, so they use it to keep their body warm. All right, so this is in general, like we're talking about body parts in any animal. So we can just go for simple things, their arms and legs help them to move, or mouth help them to eat. All right, for number one here, on, we're still on page 137, make a model. So choose an animal, research what your animal needs to live. Where does it live? What does it eat? Tell about your animal. So over here, you're gonna choose your favorite animal or animal that you like to do some research about it using your Googles with the help and assist of an, of an adult, or if you have any books uh, talking about certain animals. Uh, for example, I will be talking about dolphins, but you can talk about giraffe, you can talk about camels, you can talk about cats, dogs, cow, sheep, anything. But when you talk about, you're going to say where did it live, so where this animal live, what does it eat, and you tell us about your animal. So, for example, I will be talking about a dolphin. So, dolphin lives in ocean, yes, and he eats fish and of course they breathe air yeah i will come to page 138 and it says here number two draw your animal label the parts that help it get what it needs to live so i'm going to be drawing my dolphin and in my dolphin i'll be labeling the parts i talked about for example um tail or I will be talking about fins, so this is how they breathe. I can talk and show their teeth, and this is their teeth. And the holes in the top, this is when they blow air because this is how they smell, or this is, I'm sorry, this is how they breathe. So I can draw my dolphin and do this. For example, if you decide to draw a cat, so you would be pointing or labeling the hands and legs that help the cat to run. You will uh, pointing to the uh, mouth that helps the cats to eat, and the nose help to breathe, the eyes help the animal to see. So this is if you choose a cat. So it's up to you which animal you chose up here on page 137. You're gonna draw it in this box. All right, number three. List three body parts your animal has. Tell how to use each part to get what it needs and use the table. So they made the table for you. First column here says animal part, and here how it helps the animal to survive or to, uh, to live their life. So if I'm gonna talk about my dolphin, I will say, for example, fins. Fins, fins help the dolphin to swim and to find their food. So I will be writing here, in this part, I will be writing fins. And then I will come here and I will say, this fence helps the dolphin to swim and to find food. Let's say you chose cat. So you're gonna put here, for example, mouth, and then you say, the mouse helped the cat to chew their food. All right, the second part, I will say teeth. And over here, for my animal, the, the one I chose, the dolphin, over here, you're gonna say, Teeth help the dolphin to catch their food, which catch the fish. 
for you, you can say uh, you choose something else. Let's say if you put up uh, the body parts mouth to help to the cat or the dog to eat, you can choose here the legs and you can say the hands and legs, the animal part. And over here, how does it help the animal? Help the animal to run and move. Uh, for the third part, I chose blow hole, which is the hole that it helped the dolphin to breathe. So for you, if you choose a cat or a dog or a mouse or a rabbit, you can say the nose and then the nose helped your animal to breathe. But for me, for the dolphin, I have the blow hole that it helps the dolphin to breathe air. Okay. So it's up to you, the animal you're gonna choose, you're gonna draw it, and then you're gonna talk about three parts of the animal. You put the name of the part here on the left, and then you say what this animal, uh, this part helps the animal. You put the second part, animal part here, and then you say how this part uh, helps your animal. And then the third animal part over here, and then on the right, you write how this um, part helps your animal. All right, remember the essential question, the first uh, video we watch about the sea turtle. Think about the video of the sea turtle at the beginning of the lesson. Use what you have learned to tell how body parts help animals survive. So over here, I'm gonna play the video one more time and then just to remind you with the video and then that will help us to answer this question. We are on page 139, okay? All right, I'm gonna play it one more time. All right, so let's go back to our uh, book and we are on page 139. Let's answer the question. So now you watch the video about the turtle. Yes, so what we learn about body parts help animals to survive. How can we use this information we learn to cover this question? For example, what do you see on the, on, um, the, the, to protect the body of the turtle? What does the turtle have? Over here, what the turtle had? Yes, a hard shell. So this is help um, to protect the body of the turtle. So I can come here and I can say, for example, you saw the turtle already. So you can say its hard shell protects its body. That shell we just saw here, it's kind of hard, as you know. So this shell, hard shell, protect the body of the turtle. How about the fins? Yep, the fins help the turtle to swim, help them to swim and to find their food. So you can either use, talk about the fins or you can talk about the hard shell that protect the body. Because we know each animals, as we learn, that each, each body part of animals help the animal to survive, either to move, either to get their food, either to protect, but to make them or to, to help them to survive and live. So all these body parts can help either to breathe, either to see, either to sense, either to hunt, either to walk or move or swim or catch their food or protect them from uh, any dangers, all right? So that's, um, that's for today for, for uh, plants and animals and how they 
their body parts help them to survive. Okie dokie, that's it for today. Bye-bye.